Hello everybody, welcome back. Now in the previous video, we learned the theoretical part of TF and IDF. Here we are going to implement that in Python. Here like you can see, here we have the same set of dummy data. Now we will try to uh, do the TF IDF on this data in, in, in Python right over here. So before we start further, I will do some sort of pre-processing which includes lemmatization, it stop port removal and so on. Okay. So the first thing which I will do is let's take this variable and uh, you know, first of all, I will change this into the small letter. Okay. Because uh, um, if we have it in different cases, the Python might end up treating each of those as different word right so that's what i'm just going to convert over here first first of all okay so here we say lower and here we will just keep on printing that now we have this converted into the lower letters next thing which we need to do is do the limitization so to do the limitization we require to import one library that will be from nltk dot stem import Lemmatizer. I'm just trying to do the autocomplete for this thing. Otherwise, we might end up doing the spelling mistake. So that's why. Right, we got this. Now, after Im having this imported, we need to create an object for that. So I'm just going to say lemma equals to. Oops, sorry. Here it should be lemmatizer. I guess it is word limitizer. Let me see what all are the things. Ah, word limitizer and not the limitizer only. All right. Now I will create an object for that. Let's call, let's do the autocomplete of this. And here we go. Right. Next thing which we need to do is we need to do the limitization of these words. Let's do that. Let's call it limitized. And over here we will say tf dot contents let me rather do a copy paste of this thing so that there will be less chances of spelling mistake and into this you can just uh, do the same which i am doing or i'll try to explain the function as well right so here i would say lemma dot Limitize and here I would say word for word in x. Oops, here I just need to say lambda lambda x and then in x dot split. All right, so what exactly I'm doing is I'm taking this this column and on that I'm applying this particular function in this i'm defining this column as x here i will split here i'm splitting splitting them up uh, first i'm splitting them and then after splitting it whatever word i get each of the word i'm trying to limitize and after limitizing them again i'm joining them using a space separator let's see if, how it goes okay so here is a problem df dot there is no requirement of dot like you can see it looks like working well so that's why it is uh, taking some time after this is processed uh, we will have to remove the stop ports okay so looks like it is done limitization is done you may observe if something has been changed or it is same right now the next thing which we need to do is we need to import the stop words from nltk dot corpus import stop words let me get the list first of all stop words stop words and then once we get that stop words i think this is correct okay now here what we need to do is we need to create english stoppers stops and then here we will say stop words dot let's say if it has the word function 
it is too slow at my system so please bear with this well so to avoid the delays i just did this stop words has a functions words and into that we just want to say that we want to uh, create a list of english stop words and let's run this now this is done after doing this we need to run the similar function once again here i'm just going to say lemmatized it's not uh, let's let's call it words or let's call it final words final list okay and here i'm just going to say this particular column i will be taking over here under consideration and then i will say apply lambda x space dot join and into this i, I will say you know let me do this here i would say word in word sorry word for word in x if if uh if x not in english stop words okay and let's run this oops it looks like there's a problem just one second x dot split let's try this yeah now it worked now the stop words are removed right and here we have the final list what we need to do is we need to convert it into an array so here i would say my doc and over here df and here i will take final list dot values let's run this and let's check out the type of this Oops. type of my doc it should say an array right so this is done next thing a which comes is from sk learn we need to import this tfid vectorizer okay so from sk learn from sk learn dot feature extraction dot text all right so here what i did is i just imported this tfidf vectorizer so this is the simple syntax you can do that right now after that we will just create the model okay now let's say model equals to tf idf vectorizer this is done the next thing which we need to do is model dot model dot fit transform and inside that we will supply our data which is nothing but my doc all right and let's store this transform doc let's do this and then this let's see how it looks all right so this is what we got now after having this you know created let's just try to explore the model in the model we will see feature or uh, let's see vocabulary sorry vocabulary right so this is the vocabulary which we got let me just do this way print so that it will take less space and it will give more information okay so now you can see here it has extracted all the all the features from the data now let's uh, get the list of features okay model dot get features names so here is what we have how many we have over here len the total number of features which we got is 32 this is this is great isn't it now let's try to print this here is what we have all right looks like it has not removed these top words is it all right so if you let's let's just have a look if it has removed these top words though that is going to be fine but what you see over here is this is the normal lemmatized uh, text okay 
so here we have and and after removing that also we have the and right this doesn't looks like it has it doesn't looks like uh, you know it has removed the stop word so here is the mistake which I have made let's try to run this now if you see over here it is removed and and is removed now let's try to repeat this run again and when you run this now if you see the numbers of features are reduced so let's take the length now we have only 27 this is good i will just print or, or let let it be 27 now the next thing which we require to do is we need to find the score of each of these you know uh, features right so let's just see if we have something uh, it's called idf okay and into that let's apply zero so you see over here let's say defaulter we want to see the score for the this feature which is defaulter right so what you need to do is you just apply five over here so you get 1.916 is the score tfidf score for the word uh, for, for the for the word defaulter so similarly you can use any of these index number uh, for example for built it the index is zero and for that the score which you're gonna get is 1.22 right so let's just try this let's just try to get it for all of them so how can you get this for that what you need to do is you need to get all these features and store it in a variable let's call it features and let's store it over here done then let's uh, do this for feature in features all right so next thing which we require to do is find the index value for each of these so how can you find that index value for that you need to loop through this uh, vocabulary right and vocabulary is nothing but the dictionary i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it in a different way so please bear with that so here i'm just going to create an index variable and here in this i would say feature here this and here dot get because this is the dictionary right so let me do this this and this so it is a dictionary so when you use get so basis on the feature in the feature you will get first it will pick this particular word right which is key and for that value is 21 which will work as the index right now once you get the index all that you need to do is just print this thing you require to print feature Oops, i'll rather do a copy paste of this thing over here feature and then into this i'm just going to do this so that we could differentiate it now next you see this part you this is the thing which you require to do so over here remove this and type index all right so here i have written idex instead of index let's just see who we got this you see for each of the word we got the score created now in this if you see the score for experienced where yeah so you see the score for the word experienced is 1.9 where in so uh, this is this is pretty much cool right we have got it for all of the words the, the, here you can see it differently from what we saw in the theory because in theory we had taken the limited number of features and here we have taken all number of features so you see how you can get the tf idf score for each of the feature so this is what we learned in this video in the next one we will try to you know get the real this this is something which we tried on dummy data in the next video we will pick some real data from kaggle or from any other sources uh, and and on that we will try to build a tf idf uh, we will try to do the tf idf scoring and using that we will build a classification model until then happy learning wish you all the best